Hello again, everybody. This is Miguel Tio, the North Country Latino. You ever just want to make a pie? You know the old song. Do you want to jump up high? Do you want to reach the sky? Do you want to make a pie? What do you want? Well, I'm going to make a pie. And next I'm going to make two pies. What kind of pie am I going to make? Shoe fly pie. Wait a minute. You're going to say, Miguel Tio, don't be putting any flies in my pie. No, this is shoe fly pie, okay? What is shoe fly pie? Well, it's kind of like, think of like your crumble pie. Those of you who like to make apple crumble, peach crumble, and all those kinds of crumble pies. And think of that on one end. And think of a pecan pie, you know, with the syrup and stuff in it that's really mm -mm -mm, sweet and delicious. Both kinds are, believe me. Well, this is like a combination of two. It's got the crumble and it's got the syrup. And it's a Pennsylvania recipe. It's one I got on my trip down south. We stopped in a cool place in Pennsylvania. And it actually was an Amish restaurant. You can say, wait a minute, Miguel Tio, what do Amish and Latinos have to do with each other? Well, guess what? There are Amish Latinos. I met one. There's one up north of me at a place that we stop on on the way to my daughter's violin lessons in Watertown. It's an Amish store, and it has great bread and great things you can get at great prices. Anyways, I went in there one day, and I was wearing my old Stephen Berry's Mexican jacket. Remember Stephen Berry's? They had the Starberry sneakers and everything. I had my Mexico jacket on, and the Amish gal that was at the checkout kind of looked at me, and she says, are you from Mexico? I said, no, but I love the country. I went there three times. And she said, I'm from Mexico. And she came to this country, and she converted to Amish faith and everything and living. And she lives up north of me about 20 minutes away. So there are Amish Latinos. So we can make shoe fly pie just like anybody else. And any of you that go on vacation from Philadelphia or even New York, anywhere, go through Pennsylvania, the Dutch country, you know, the Amish sell their stuff all over the place. You can get shoe fly pie mix at a lot of their restaurants and stores. There's more of them than I ever remember as a kid. And even Cracker Barrels. You go on to 995, you go and buy a Cracker Barrel. They have shoe fly pie mix at Cracker Barrel. Anyways, it starts with a syrup. And you're going to say, why is that syrup floating in water? Because it loosens it up. It's hot water. So I'm going to get the syrup out. And... Hopefully it won't be as bonded in there. You open the jar. The first thing you do is get that syrup in the bowl, okay? Get the top off, nice and secure. And you know, you can get all kinds of things when you go on a vacation trip sometimes. And it's cool to have stuff that you don't have at home just every other day, whether it be tropical fruits from Florida, um, of course don't do that on a plane, they don't allow you to do that, just bring them home in your car if you drive down, or something like shoe fly pie mix. Oh goody, this is up. Smells good, yum. Kind of like a molasses syrup, I understand. And any of you who like molasses cookies, you would love shoe fly pie. Actually, well... It wasn't that hard to get out, believe it or not. And there it is. No, this is not an oil change. This is shoe fly pie. Okay, this is a yummy looking molasses syrup and it smells good too. Now, the next fun part out of the box is your crumble mix. And this is kind of like a little bit of flour, a little bit of brown sugar mix. You're going to take about a cup and a half of it, okay? You're going to take a cup and a half of this mix, and you're going to put it in with the syrup. So you pour in about a cup's worth. Make a good little crack in the bag so you can get that out of there. Some of these bags these days are just pretty, I don't know, user unfriendly. They're economical, but then you try to use it, and it's like, you might as well be pulling your own tooth. Anyways, one cup. and a half into the syrup. And of course, what are you gonna do next? Stir it! Wow! And yes, there'll be directions for the flour left over. Stir it around so it's nice and mixed. All right, so you got your mix all mixed together, doesn't it? Looks good. Almost looks like chocolate. 
smells very sweet. And of course, what are you going to do with this mix? You're going to fill those babies right over there. Your prepared pies. And of course, have your oven preheated to 350 while you're finishing the process here because what is a pie without being baked? Well, I suppose there's some bakeless pies out there, but this is not one of them. Okay, it's not one of these pudding pies. Okay, so you're going to take this thing and you're going to fill. If you have the smaller shells like mine are, the 7 inch, then you can make two. If you have the larger shells, then you can put it all into one and then you gotta take a pie. So whichever one you want to do for your shoe fly pie is your choice. Mix that around good. Like so. So it's dispersed within the shell because I mean what would that be fun to open a pie and then you got half of it, not even have any ingredients in it, except for dough. Ooh. There we go, starting to get that mixed around. Well now, with our shells filled and ready to go, you're gonna take that leftover crumble mix and sprinkle it over the top of each one. So it makes kind of like that crumble top you're used to in your other crumble pies. Do it evenly. Over one and over the other. And this has got like cinnamon, a little sugar and stuff, brown sugar mixed in. And there they are ready to go into the oven for an hour at 350. Well, once you know it, it's time to get these babies out of the oven. So let's do so. Mmm, do they look good or what? Nice and firm and cooked up beautifully. Check this out. Come on over. Yum, baby. Yum. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, you know what? You can have something really good with a pie like this. How about some peach cider? <laughs> a bottle I picked up on the highway at an awesome produce stand as we were leaving South Carolina to head back up north. Peach cider. And shoe fly pie. A perfect combination for a perfect dessert situation for a perfect anybody in the nation, whether you're Latino or otherwise. This is Miga Tio. You want some dessert? Try some shoe fly pie for a change. And then if you don't like it, then hey, that way you found out. But if you do like it, like I think I'm gonna because mm, it smells like a pastry shop in here, it's time to have some pie. This is Miguel Tiro de North Candelitino. See, till next time, in the meantime, have some dessert before your next meal comes around next morning. That'll be breakfast. Good night, everybody. Ooh, now there's a piece that served up real nice.